Does the Prime Minister agree that the 100 Conservative members who voted against Plan B measures last night voted against steps which are necessary to protect the NHS and to protect lives? Uh, thank you, uh, Mr Speaker. The Government is taking a balanced and a proportionate approach uh, to dealing with the, the pandemic, and uh, uh, the House voted through uh, Plan B, I think, with Conservative votes, Mr Speaker, and we will continue uh, with the massive booster rollout. For weeks now, he claims that no rules were broken. He claims he didn't know what was happening in his own house last Christmas. I don't believe him. His MPs don't believe him, and nor do the British public. He's taking the public for fools, and it's becoming dangerous. Because from today, anyone who tests positive for coronavirus faces a second Christmas in isolation. It will be heartbreaking for families across the country. The message from the government has to be, we know that following the rules won't be easy this Christmas, but it is necessary. Can the Prime Minister not see that he has no hope yeah. of regaining the moral authority to deliver that difficult message if he cannot be straight with the British public about the rule breaking in Downing Street last Christmas? Yeah. Mr Speaker, I have repeatedly answered uh, that question uh, before, and, and, uh, and as he knows, a report is being uh, delivered uh, to me by the Cabinet Secretary into exactly uh, what went on. The British public are looking for a Prime Minister with the trust and the authority to lead Britain through the crisis. Instead, we are burdened with the worst possible Prime Minister at the worst possible time. They're shouting now. Where were they in the lobby last night? His own MPs have had enough. They won't defend him. They won't turn up to support him. And if he proposes them, they won't vote for basic public health measures.